guys so I have acquired a very special kind of fish this is what you're seeing here a giant beta yes I said it well a giant um, these guys get to about three to five inches when they're fully grown this one is approximately two inches right now and um, they're just like any other regular betas um, they live three to five years also um, and um, it's not really a community fish I mean any beta is not a community fish uh, if you have small neons or anything small uh, or smaller than them they will beat them up to death um, take my word on that but if you have like bigger uh, tetras or anything else compatible with a beta other than the gourami type or cichlids um, then you can have them in a community tank of such <clears throat> uh, these guys I've never seen with long fins yet they come with short fins red green blue and um, they look a lot like the fighter beta uh, but like I said three times bigger this guy is still a baby he's so cute look at him I find him beautiful personally um, if he could just come closer up um, this is a 10 gallon tank with a, um, a filter in it uh, if you want your beta to like get stronger and look beefier a bit put a filter uh, an air pump or a small power head just to make a little bit of current and resistance and that way your beta grows big and strong um, also if um, you want them to be big and strong you have to feed them well uh, blood worms, brine shrimp, uh, good pellets uh, also include some greens so they don't get bloated because that's very common for betas um, and um, yeah they can also live with uh, ghost shrimps uh, but not a mono or um, any cherry shrimp type look at how gorgeous this guy is I hope my zoom can work I'm just letting you watch him I have actually um, another one in my tank above and the other one is a blue variant so let me just get there and don't judge he's in with goldfish uh, hold on where is this guy this is the blue variant <laughs> right there it's very hard to actually focus properly on him but like I said they come in all of those darker variants as blue green red um, this one is really hard to catch she's extremely more active than the one below so really like each one of them has their own personalities and um, you can actually keep them in with like fancy goldfish if your temperatures are like 23 to 26 degrees even to uh, yeah 23 to 26 is perfect uh, but regular goldfish I wouldn't recommend so much because they're a little bit more aggressive than the clumsy fat ones so that's it if you have any comments or questions please ask below and don't forget to subscribe and like thank you bye bye